everybody. Today we're here at Konark Sun Temple, a UNESCO World Heritage Site and the greatest edifice ever built to Surya, the sun god. It all began at Chandrabhaga Beach. Literal shift over the centuries has pushed the temple complex four kilometers in. We joined the stream of pilgrims as the first rays of the new rising sun touch the towering Jagmohan, the pyramidal shell that remains. Of the sanctum, only the platform is intact. The Ganga king Narasimha Deva I completed construction around 1250 CE. We enter the detached Nat Mandap from the east. Massive lions of the Gajabati lord over the elephants that crush his enemies. The festival hall is a lavishly carved pillared structure on a raised platform depicting music and dance of the imperial Ganga period. Dholaks, Kartalas and dancers perform for the king. Shana is blown while a royal hunts lion and wild boar. The Vamsi and the Veena reverberate to the roar of the lion. Can't touch this! Deities and demons emerge from the stonework. The southern steps of the Natamandap lead to the kitchen. The Jagamohan with the pyramidal roof stands on a four meter high platform. The intricate doorway carved in green chloride contrasts with the lighter condolite sandstone used for the walls. The Naugraha slab of the lintel has been removed to a separate location. Ravi, Chandra, Mangal, Buddh, Brihaspati, Shukra, Shani, Rahu and Ketu. Seven richly caparisoned spirited horses pull the chariot temple of the sun god. On the walls of the Jagamohan are massive sculptures. Vaisalas, amorous couples, and the legends of the king. The wheels are Konak's crowning glory. Twelve pairs carved on the sides for the twelve months of the year. Realism extends to the pins holding the axles in place. The doors on the three sides are now blocked up. The south staircase was guarded by superbly monumental war horses in massive strength and vigor, as quoted by Adel. This interesting panel shows Narasimha Deva the first being gifted a giraffe by African traders.
Beside it is Konak's most famous wheel, depicted on the 10 rupee currency note. Medallions in the center of the broad spokes contain deities and amorous figures. The cardinal niches of the collapsed deol are huge chloride images of Surya, the sun god. Smiling and radiant as the rising sun, by midday he is grave. The king and queen worship at his feet. Don't miss the calf-length boots. Every inch of the plinth is alive with a frieze of contemporary Ganga life. Parades of elephant and horse cavalry, elephants being captured in the wild, construction work, soldiers marching, beasts of burden, an elephant family in a sylvan forest. Among the mythical beasts and erotic couples are Naga princesses, intricately carved. The multi-headed cobra, symbol of Khmer royalty, emphasizes the Ganga dynasty's close seafaring ties with Southeast Asia. The ruins of the Deola lay bare huge iron beams used in this erection. Surya now is at his nadir, weary at the end of the day, his seven horses reduced to one. The north staircase was guarded by a pair of life-size elephants. They crushed the enemies of Gajapati Narsimha Deva I in a splendid depiction of Odia's culture. In the Chaitya Lake Khakra Mundis are cameos of daily life. Women with lamps sporting fashionable slippers, mirrors and pet birds. And with children. Exquisitely carved pillars of the Nat Manda frame the temple complex beyond. Let me hear you say. This famous sculpture depicts Buddhist and Jain saints. 
So this was Konark Sun Temple, a UNESCO World Heritage Site and the culmination of Kalingan art and architecture, displaying the life of Ganga royalty at its zenith. We hope you like viewing this as much as we did visiting there. Don't forget to like and to subscribe and we'll see you at our next monument.